we're back. Hi, everyone. Yep. This is like like my sixth day in a row. Cause there for a while I was doing it every other day. Oh, was you? Yeah. You know, you don't feel good. You don't want to vlog. So you do every oh, other day. Yeah. When I miss two days, I usually start getting messages like, "Are you okay?" Yeah. First, Grandma's doctor's appointment. Grandma is okay. No surgery. Uh, what it is, is, it is, is, in her neck, you know how the, these arteries go straight down? Well, the one on her one side has a little, a curve in it, and it's making it poofy. I don't know why it's doing it now, but it's doing it now. But the doctor was going to look at it again in six months, up a little further to make sure there's no blockages starting. But as of right now, all is good. So, that was good news today. Yes, very good news today. And she was very relieved. Oh, very. Yes. We were all happy, too. Yes. Sad news today. Our neighbor Tommy died. Yes. Dad's friend back here who worked with them, and they rode to work together, and uh, they moved here by us quite a few years ago. He, uh, he's he been kind of bedridden. He has, what's it called? Huntington's? Huntington's Korea. Huntington's Korea. Uh, it's a disease that has... Uh, taking him downhill over the last I saw him like six or eight months ago and he was sitting in the car and he was just kind of in his own world but then I know he knows what's going on but it, it takes your ability to talk away and you shake a lot and you can't move and it got to be where he couldn't feed himself here lately and she'd have to feed him and you pretty much have your mind but you lose control of everything else yeah so she the nurse guy came this morning and got him dressed and up for the day and then she went with a friend out to Vites it's a fruit, a fruit and vegetable stand that she used to work at for like a half an hour she was gone and when they came back he had passed away so um, we kind of knew when we went by when we were going to go shopping we saw a whole bunch of cars at their house and I'm like that's not a good sign and we got home we had a call from her saying to call her and it was indeed what we had thought that he had passed away. He was 80 something. 82, 83. Yeah. She just, she's just going to turn 80. I know he might be a couple years older than she is. So they're waiting for their son to get here from out on the west coast and we will know more about services later. Kitty. Kitty and dog. Everybody's in here but the humper. He's in his recliner. Uh, I had some fails in the kitchen today. Oh, goodness. Okay, I saw a recipe online that said if you take mozzarella cheese sticks, like the string cheese, and dip it in milk, dip it in Italian breadcrumbs, put it in a hot oven, 425, it'll crisp it up and you make cheese sticks. Yes. It's a lie. It was cheese patties. Cheese. It was ugly. Cheese. Not. Yeah. It looks like it looked like one of those things you get at a joke shop <laughs> versus flat. Yeah, like it's flattened on the bottom and it's kind of yeah, it was yeah, we spread it out. Well, like I ate two and Lizzie took a bite of one and Dad took a bite of one and we just had to throw them away because it was um not good. Yeah, not good. I made pizza. Very good. That was good. I made dough and my ninja. Mm -hmm. I gotta yes. film that sometime because Lizzie's like, you're done making it already? I'm like, yeah, I just gotta let it sit now. Quick, quick to make dough and the ninja. The longest part is just washing it all up after. And I made apple praline bread. Which is good. Which is good. And the humper donut. Oh gosh. You tell that one. This was so hilarious. We're sitting there, you know, and all of a sudden he says he wants the last donut because we got Dunkin' Donuts the other day. So he takes it out and he said, you just put it in the microwave for like five to seven seconds and it's going to be just fresh. Like fresh. <laughs> just fresh. So he got one with sprinkles on it. That was the last one. So he put it in there and he took it out and it was so hot. The sprinkles had turned into molten lava. Yeah, lava, you know. He started juggling it, and it fell on his stomach, and he didn't have a shirt on. <laughs> yeah, 
it was he was juggling and he was like it hurts me it hurts me and we're dying laughing so hard it was so funny it would have been a good video moment oh i wish we would have had and it finally landed on landed on something on the table and then he's like i gotta go clean up because he had like frosting on his stomach from work he was going like this with it oh it's hot it's hurting me it's hurting me oh uh, and we're just dying laughing not helping or something watching him juggle his donut. Oh, it was funny. It was funny. It was a good, fun time today with that. we bought that dozen donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. I ate two. I had three. She had three. That's five. And who ate the rest of that dozen? Yeah. The helper. The helper. <laughs> He's, he likes to bake stuff. Breads, donuts, brownies, cake. Likes it all. Likes it all. Yeah. Because I looked at them, I'm like, there's one donut left. I've had two. And she's like, I've had two. No, I've had three. And so that's five. Where'd the other seven go? Or the other six at that time. Six, yeah, six yeah. at that time. So, yeah. Yeah. The Humper is a donut eating food. Yes, he is. We saw the crazy. I'm going to call her the crazy aunt today. Yes, we do. do it. She doesn't have a car right now. And it's driving her crazy. And she's calling the people who have it a lot. And the way she talks to dad on the, machi the answering machine is he should figure it out for her. She want out, Heidi. She want out. She want out, Heidi. Uh, no. So she's been kind yeah. of... The aunt's been kind of uh, testy lately. We did take her a gallon of milk today because we were over in her town and we were shopping and they had milk two for five. So we bought a gallon for myself and bought a gallon for her. For which we pulled in and she saw us and she came out and got it and we left. Her dog is really cute. Yeah, Princess is a cute little dog. Yes, she is. Who she'll call us sometimes and go, Princess is gone. She ran away, but she takes her out on not on a leash. Or she'll say Princess got pregnant by a squirrel the one time Dad said. Yeah. I think Princess is pregnant by a squirrel. Who thinks of that? Really? Yeah. She did remember my name though. She yeah. Stretch out kitty stretch. Um we were just sitting in there in the kitchen and Stacy was going, Heidi, come here. Come here, Heidi. Come on, Heidi. Heidi, oh, come here. And she's in the living room just sitting there looking at me. And then I say, come here, Heidi. Here she comes. Here she comes, wagging her tail. Like, <laughs> you little brat. <laughs> we try that all the time. I'll talk to her and talk to her and talk to her. It's like, I don't even exist. And as soon as Lizzie talks to her, her tail wags and here she comes. Yeah. Dang she, her. She loves me. Come here, kitty, kitty. Come on, kitty, kitty. Jump up there. Come on. Jump. I know you want to. And there she is. So tomorrow we'll slowly get up and around and yes. get her packed and we'll take her home and uh, throw me out and take off. Yeah, that's right. And that's how we're going to do it. They stop real quick and throw me out, really. Oh, at the store I bought these things called cotton candy grapes. Oh my gosh, they are so good. They taste like cotton candy. That was odd to me. It was very good, but odd. Odd. How did they, how did they, how did they make it do that? I want to know. But it was a special thing they had. They never had them before that I know of. And the first one I'm like, it, I'm like, it does kind of taste like cotton candy. It was bizarre. It was. We mainly went so she could get those Stouffer's. She got six. I got six Stouffer's for my freezer. I bought one. And um, I got some chips and salsa, pineapple peach salsa. We had some for dinner. It's very good. Good stuff. And I got four um, pistachio muffins, which are good. And I can't get them at home, so I had to get some. She got a box of cereal. Yeah, it was cinnamon jacks. Like Apple Jacks, but they're Cinnamon Jacks. Anyone heard of them? I had not. 
I had to get a box. Had to. Yeah. And then I got a couple spices. And then we came home and Stacy made pizza. And yeah, we were in the kitchen for a long time because first I had to do the... What did I do first? I made the dough before we... When I got first got home. Mm-hmm. For the pizza. While that rose, I made the apple praline bread, which took an hour to bake. And while that was baking, we just kind of chilled in the kitchen. Yeah. And then when that came out, I boosted up the temperature to 425 where the pizza needed to bake. So while that was heating up more, I got the pizza ready and uh, put that in. And then I did the whole cheese stick fiasco. And uh, I was in pain. She's time. been in pain. Oh, man. Her tuma is being a pain. It is seriously... Uh, earlier, I thought I was going to have to have them take me to the, the ER. It was hurting so bad. I mean, it hurts right now really bad, but not that bad. You can take pain pills now again. Yeah, I'm going to take them after we're done. She um, She's probably going to end up having to take those quite often now because it is starting to get painful a lot more. Oh, man. I just, I have 10 more days, and I can't wait until it just gets over with. Yep, 10 I days. I not deal with this anymore. I'll have to deal with the cut, but that'll yeah. get that, better. That, that pain will fade away, and yeah. that'll come back. Right. Which has just been not, I, I mean, unbelievable. I can't believe how bad it hurts sometimes. It feels like I have kidney stones. Seriously, because it hurts through my back, all the way from my side. Through well, that's what my you originally back. thought it was, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. It'll come out. It'll come out. Yes. I still say you should tell him to put it in a jar. Yeah. No, they, my tumor. I know they want to cut it open and che- test it. Yeah, they got to test it. Can you just take a tiny little slice and put the rest of it in a jar? And preserve it. Yeah. Maybe. I want you to take it home. And name it. Yeah. I want to name my tumor. What would you name your tumor? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. What we should Lizzie name her tumor? <laughs> We are weird. You should hear some of the conversations we have about poop. <laughs> oh my gosh, because, you know, with this going on, uh, I just want to... Uh, when you have things that happen and your bodily functions aren't working normally, it becomes very important to you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we have poop conversations all the time anyway. And it just naturally happens. And after yeah. a while, I'm like, how does it always happen that we talk about poop? Or yeah. pooping. Or, you know, and it's just matter of factly. It isn't like we're doing it in a joking type manner. Sometimes we're laughing, but. Yeah, sometimes we're laughing. It turns into laughter after we realize, you know, we're, we're ridiculous. We're shit again. Yeah. You know, it happens. Mm-hmm. Shit happens. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I should be a stand up. Uh-huh. Like you told your dad, my dad, what, you should be a sit down. <laughs> you should be a sit down. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to tell a joke the other day, and it was not, it was one of those. Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> it was not funny. No. It was not. But, yeah, we, uh, been laughing about that. And. As soon as we're done talking to them, we're going to start getting in our jammies. Yes. And, uh, getting ready to chill out. Chill out. Yeah. We might vlog tomorrow before we leave, if we remember. Yeah. You might see us, you might not. You might end up just seeing me in the evening when I get home, and you might not. And, uh, we'll answer, if we vlog tomorrow, we'll answer Leslie's questions. What are the questions again? What is your favorite YouTube experience, like, at a gathering? What I have done? Yeah. At a gathering? Yeah, or anything. I can do with you. Okay, I'll think about that. Maybe I'll talk about that tomorrow. Some of my favorite highlights of YouTubing moments. And she wanted me to say a, a story about me and a band, which I will think She has about, lots of those. Which one I'll tell. And then she wants to say, Hello! 
Look at my butt. Yeah. Kitty, kitty, kitty. But now we're going to take off and go get in our jammies and get comfortable and, um, yeah. So we will tomorrow. We'll try to vlog before we'll she goes. We'll try tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So bye. Bye, everyone.